What is going on, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, boys and girls of all ages, sinners and sinnerettes alike? I welcome y'all back to the grand series known as. Now I know it has been many moons since this game has come out, and not only that, season three apparently came out. I don't know what date or what time, but episode three is already out. So I gotta kick it into high gear. Hopefully, we'll be able to progress forward and even probably touch on a little bit of episode three in this following episode. And without further ado, and enough of my BS, kids. Oh yeah, there's so three there. So if we're following the same pattern, then we're pretty much almost there. Let's see what we'll old form the greatness away this guys. <coughs> now, if you remember my following episode, I was trying to uh, find uh, out the, this puzzle in here. Well, thanks to some of you, and a big shout out to my dear friend Samantha for this. Um, Hi, Sammy. Hi. Uh, if you look here, I have actually figured out where in the nine heavens. Now, there note is there is utterly a fault among you, because ye go to law with one another. Why do ye not rather suffer injustice? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Ah, oh, look, a message. message. It is of paramount importance that no one finds it. Watch out for the Prussian. He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize a rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims... How many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. Six. For you are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. That's that. So, uh, I gotta remember how to check my notes again. Please bear with me as I figure the time to do Sick. Oh, that's how you do it. Oh, way, I can find this. Don't I pray the code to do it. I got the package. Nowhere. Find it. Find it. It's a paradigm. Awaiting your reply, hidden behind. Find that, Neo. Also. Paramount of importance, no one find. Watch out. Person is on your trail. Do you organize the ride? Ah, uh, the rendezvous. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that right. Ah, uh, not today. I failed to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group. So, chapter six. Codes. On the second day, the pilgrims will listen to the prophecy of the young apostle. They shall add one companion to their left and three to their right to complete their rank. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? It's St. John, painted by Guido Rini. They should add a companion to their left and three to their right to complete their ranks. I imagine it applies to their code, the one mother set up with the pilgrims. What's this? A group of pilgrims who Paul was talking to, and now John is telling the prophecies? John. Take this for right now and figure out how to deal with it. The chest with the occult symbol representing air. I'm not able to find the right or the left key. I don't really expect this area before, but I'm happy to do it at the So, so Raise your 
your head and be reassured. For what comes up here from the mortal world must write in our ways. Yes. The other thing is also highlighted. I'll have to check that one out Maybe whenever it's he's done. There must be a connection. Himself. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Alright. I hope the So we have the figure 11 twice underlined. And Why do you story repeat of yourself in this sequence? Pilgrims who it looks Paul is speaking to. Maybe it's a code. There, there must be a connection. A text on Paul must be somewhere, and it must be associated with the figure 11. But what's the story with these pilgrims? I mean, a connection with the figure, maybe? Alright, so... He's on the trail. Let's meet up. I'll leave it to you to organize a rendezvous. Not today. I'm unable to do it. In the meantime, I'll follow the first group to Mark, who will reveal the answer to them. And that first group of pilgrims, how many are there now? If I refer to the chapter I'm reading at the moment, six. The drawing of the Apostle Matthew painted by Guido Rini. He's represented as writing the word of the Lord, transmitted by the Holy Spirit, who appears here in the guise of an angel. He was all, he's just like looking at it. Like, I think I've already established anything behind there, so. Where are they? St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. There's me. There's nothing worth noticing here. Little characters are engraved on the chest of drawers under the urn. It's a sentence in Hebrew. Okay. Painting of St. Mark from the collection of the apostles by Guido Rini. I'll leave the first group to mark. It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. There are finger marks, deliberately drawn in the dust. Eight in all. No, nothing of value here. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Brini. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. There are fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. Is there a thing of significance? Oh. Lost the significance of the number six. We can do. Wait, the 
Yes. Okay. There's my chance. Then they suborned men, which said, We have heard him speak blasphemous words against Moses and against God. And as they did eat, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. To do it in the meantime, I'll follow the first. I guess I'll just come back later. St. Paul on the road to Damascus by Caravaggio. Caravaggio attained a magnificent command of black and the play of colors, too. Paul facing an ordeal, the curtains of his illusions being raised, and receives the light from his savior. Saint Paul is the only saint to be presented twice in these paintings, contrary to the other apostles. How come? This painting has been hanging here for a long time. A lot of dust has built up on it. Well, a finger has drawn a number in the thin layer of dust. I can read the number four. Wait a minute. Can you read the number? Oh, we've got to find one of these paintings that has the number six. disciples. St. Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting has been cleaned recently. There's a small inscription engraved on the frame. Let's take a closer look. This is how Paul spoke to his pilgrims from Rome. Just above that, someone's written down the figure 11 on the painting and underlined it twice. No, what does that mean? Damn. Slow minded. Sorry for the silence of my both thinking and also my best dialogues. Maybe you help me out with future points. I don't know why I'm just stuck in this room. It's rather frustrating. But. There aren't papers in the chimney. You figure this out. There's a legible fragment left. Hey, I recognize my mother's handwriting. She says, we must find a safer way to communicate. Someone is on to us. Trust in my faith in the man with the sword. So mother had an accomplice here. Who could it be? 
Who could she be suspicious of? I must find the next part. Faith, sword. I recognize your love of riddles there. Hmm. All right. Train find number six. How do we examine the first one? It's too cumbersome for me to unhook here, but judging by the dust, it hasn't been moved for months, if not years. Hmm. Let's continue to look. Chapters of six. Oh. But that which beareth thorns and briars is rejected, and is nigh unto cursing, whose end is to be burned. Here's a message. There are some complications. Indeed, the Prussian is insistent. Okay, I found What's happening at your end? Do you need help? If tonight is not possible, let's see tomorrow evening, in the south room, where we reviewed the situation. When Paul understood that only the axe counted he went back on his tracks. I await your confirmation to his left in the company of the pilgrims that have joined him. Yeah, this last comment is about their code. I should find new pilgrims near Paul. Help tonight is not possible. Let's say tomorrow evening, South Room, where we review the situation. Paul understood that only the X counted. Back on the tracks. I await your confirmation to his left, to the left of Paul. Review the pilgrims. I guess I'll just come back later. Chest with the occult symbol representing air. Several portraits of apostles, all signed by Guido Pliny. Looks like someone touched this commode recently. Their fingerprints on the sheets and in the dust. That's I wait your confirmation to reflect on it. Yes. destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame, who think only of earthly things. Okay. That was easy. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds, and in defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye all are partakers of my grace. So that's also moment. I might be testing the out a lot. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. All right. Do all things without murmurings and disputes. Oh. 
But would it please God, who separated me from my mother's womb, and called me by his grace? Paul understood that. The Paul understood only the X counted. That counts. Wait, your confirmation was left completely open. Sure. Thou hast put all things under his feet. For it's more of the search down by all his verses him. His, he left nothing that is not put under of him. all of his actions in the left. I, mean, I guess I'll just come back later. Oh, no, 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 I guess I'll just come back later. Oh, no, no. Well, I'm kind of thinking. Right now. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Going back to the paintings right now. So I'm Saint Paul some... painted by Guido Rini. Saint Paul is shown holding a sword. Strange. There's hardly any dust, as if the painting's been cleaned recently. I'm also the noticing that each of the things that he is that we're Let's looking for. Look. Compares to be in the species to his pilgrims from Rome. Um, just above that, uh, someone's uh, written down the figure 11 on the painting. The person has it uh, twice. Uh, but what does that mean? Almost with Corinthians 1. So, let's look through this book. Uh, Follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see. I want to look through all of the different ones in the, in these areas here, and hopefully we can try to find. Honor thy father, father and thy mother, as this is the first commandment. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, in the vanity of their mind. Oh, no. But though we, or an angel from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. But when it pleased God, who separated me from my mother's womb and called me by his grace. That won't either. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the spirit by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith. Okay. For I through the law am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. Alright, that was an entire so let's come back time. later. But not in the lustful desire, even as the Gentiles who knew not God. Hmm.
Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. Mm -hmm. I honestly have just like no idea who to from here. So, like, I'm gonna be on, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm gonna just this up for it. Because, like, I am just. I am completely lost. Alright, so let's go through the different things right now. Yeah, I'm really sorry, guys. I really hate to do this. I'm just. I'm, I'm hella lost. Can't even begin to tell you guys how lost I really am right now. Okay, he goes back and checks the same painting I did in front of on the back, the one in the back. Number four. Became very hungry and would have eaten, but while they were made ready, he fell into a trance. Hey, there's a note here, a message from Mother in reply to Eve. I was looking in like the completely wrong direction across the, the video I checked out. So watch out for Volner. He figured out I was avoiding him. Allay suspicion. See you tomorrow evening. Stand ready. For now, let's cease all communication until we meet. Take care of yourself. I suppose this must be the last message. What happened afterward? If it's what I suspect, I, I fear the worst. What did Mother mean by, I absolutely must go beyond the nightmare? I must go beyond the nightmare. He must go beyond the nightmare. What does she mean by that? Uh, it could be literally, but we I'm guessing it's a metaphor. I need to figure out what this means. Mortimer's getting his guests together. I ought to join them so I don't look suspicious. Yes. Yes, we must. Well, Alright, so that's interesting. So his mother is more... Uh, trying to suppress, like, a nightmare scenario or something. So it could be, like, a lot of different other things that could go on. Didn't understand my mother's message. No, I didn't. And then discovered the mother's message. 
not really understanding that. Oh, look at all that XP! Oh. Alright, so we're gonna put our traits into other things as well. Um, some of the ones that we really haven't like hit on. Like that one, and that one. That we can try to gain areas into other suspicions as well as that. We'll go ahead. Cannot be. We cannot. So here's what we'll do. We'll do this one and this one. We'll go ahead, press on, and see what else awaits us in this monumental game that I've really been enjoying lately. I'm so sorry I haven't been able to play it like this. Oh, I'll talk to you. I like talking to you. And chicken king. You are expected in the small salon, sir. Okay. The spar shut up. What went onward to that then, ladies and gentlemen? The whole mystery of this game is really just super intriguing, and I hope we really get to find out the... Eli, I must speak to you. What's the matter, Louis? I have news about your sister. What have you found out? Look, I started piecing together the events leading up to my mother's disappearance and your sister's. D did my mother know about your secret? Yes, even though I belong to the English chapter, her rank in the Order gives her access to a good deal of personal information. Interesting. It must have been Emma I saw my vision. I was given to understand that my mother and your sister bonded during their stay. Mm. If mother's really killed her sister, I'd better find her by myself. They say they spent a lot of time together. They got along well. Oh, really? Do you think your mother liked Duchess Hillsborough? Of course she did. After all, she's your sister. Well, we'll find them, Emily. Trust me. Should I speak to her about my vision? If what I saw is true, she might want to take revenge. Uh-oh. Big decision-making time. Okay, so if we keep it quiet, we tell her, then... Because basically, for those of you who are catching, or trying to catch up, and I don't know why you're watching this video if you're trying to just catch up, but I got in mind. But anyway, so it's a like a recap. So if we keep it quiet, we keep it quiet. We feel to her that we can't be trustworthy. But if we tell her, then we could also protect her. So it's basically a choice of who wants to be the enemy now or later. But I'm going to kind of go with keep I better keep that to myself for the time being. Come, just Lily. because they're waiting for us. Don't want to gain an enemy that close too quickly, especially since she was willing to you get to the You will take dearly, I'm sure you were involved somewhere along the line. That's right. Pretend you don't know. One piece of advice don't travel through France on your way back. Oh, it'll cost you dearly. Calm down, my friends. Let's calm down. Everyone seems to be a little unnecessarily heated. Don't forget where you are, please. What's going on here exactly? Sir Gregory called us together to introduce the last guest, but hardly had we arrived when he sat upon Monsieur Peru. Is it, who is this charming character? Manuel Godoy, the Duke of La Acudia. He's the head of the Spanish government, Monsieur de Richer. He's the one who, in practice, controls Spain. How could oh. you dare do such a thing? Dios mio, you are all out of your minds! Dios really mio! What <laughs> made you kick up such a fuss? What? Have you not heard? Well, let me inform you that yesterday morning at 10.22 a.m. precisely, in the middle of the Place de la Révolution in Paris, by decree of the National Convention, which Monsieur Peru works for, King Louis was guillotined. What? The King of France is dead, gentlemen. Uh -oh. Our monarchies are in danger. I have said it before. How dare they? Oh, dear. Oh, as if the race is... Oh, 
Impossible. This is not Friend, it. friend, let us calm down. Don't pretend to be surprised. He got a fair trial. Ridiculous. Bastard. He was sentenced to death by 361 votes. To 360. You beheaded a king for one vote. Is that your democracy? What an obnoxious act. Until this, anything was possible. This political coup will have grave consequences. France is lost. Gentlemen, please, let us take a step back a moment. In the name of holiness, he was the highest representative of God in France, Emily. Gentlemen, Duchess, we're all among people of reputable company here. We should be able to manage the conflicts of our nations in a respectful and orderly manner. I fully agree with you, sir. But Indeed. Enough, sir. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? Louis Moras de Richer. Are you related to Sarah de Richer? Sarah is his mother, Duke. Gentlemen, this news affects us all, but I must ask you to remain calm. It's not the first time history has taken us by surprise. Let's ensure that our respective countries are allowed to respond appropriately to this news. Oh, rest assured, the response will not fall short, my friend. Good for you. Well, Your Grace, here I was preparing to introduce you, as is proper, and you've beaten me to it. I'm delighted that we are all together at last. Our meeting will therefore be able to kick off shortly. I have just a few more little preparations to take care of before you all find out the reason for your presence here. In the meantime, I shall leave you to get to know one another. When you hear the bell, please proceed to the conclave room on my left, behind that door. I'll see you later. Could you spare a moment, please, sir? I'm glad you ask. I want to talk to you, too. Of course. <laughs> I heard about your mother's disappearance. He looks concerned. I don't know why, but I doubt it's from Cynthia alone. Let's see what he wants from me. Any news of her? Have you found her, maybe? That's a big drop. To hear you speak, you seem to know my mother well. Uh, not really. Uh, we met for the first time on this very spot uh, some weeks back. Uh, we had a very pleasant discussion. She's an exceptionally learned lady with a good head for business. Uh, no need for me to tell you that. I agree. Uh, did she tell you about our arrangement? Cat's out of the bag now. More or less, but please do, do refresh my memory. Yes, of course. Uh, nothing of great importance in itself. Hmm. During one of our discussions, oh, she shit. spoke of an old book, which might have been of interest to me, and she had agreed to let me have it. A book about what? Ancient occultism. As you are aware, I am a doctor of theology. You might have come across some old books in her belongings, perhaps? The least one can say is that he doesn't beat around the bush. Sarah never travels without a few books. What does the one you're looking for look like, exactly? It resembles a grimoire. It's divided into seven parts, each one individually locked. It was made in such a way that if someone tried to tamper with it, the sheets would be permanently tarnished. It's a unique copy. There's only one. The mere mention of it makes his face light up. Succeeded step. Well, I'll take a closer look, but I can't promise you anything. You seem very upset. Is it so important to you, this book? Well, it's... Uh... It's the search of a lifetime. What can I say? 
Every time I move closer to it, it seems to slip away at the last minute. I was very surprised to learn that your mother had it in her possession. I thought it was with a certain Von Borchardt in Paris. Do you know him? Indeed. One of your close friends? Uh, no, not really, but we were close once. Precisely over the case that concerns us So this us goes now, back to the very beginning of the to have the book I'm looking for. Another dishonest person. What can you say? Can't trust anyone these days, huh? No. No. You can't. I hope I've been able to satisfy your curiosity, Mr. Von Wilner, and that you succeed in finding what you're looking for. Oh, and so do I. And now, what if you told me who you really are working for, instead of keeping up this pretense? I beg your pardon? We both know what you're looking for, Von Wilner. You're the one who Von Burchett was planning to sell it to. For centuries, all those who have come into contact with the Al-Azif have bitterly regretted it, Monsieur de Richelieu. You are playing a dangerous game. Please know that I am working for someone who does not appreciate anyone poking around in his business. Let me guess. Your dear king, I should think. What? You mean Frederick William? Oh, my poor fellow. You are miles away. That stupid, pretentious puppet wields no real power. But seeing as you do not wish to be serious, so be it. Good luck to you. Just heard that name pop up a lot. I just had to figure out. Had to figure out uh, if that was your case. I guess we were dead wrong. It's interesting to also know who other key players are. Those the man we were supposed to be selling the book to. I'd like to think that he knows way more than he can so Let's see what Napoleon Bonaparte. Monsieur Bonaparte, may I speak with you a moment? May we? Does expression go beyond the nightmare? mean anything to you at all? Well, metaphorically, yes. It sums up the career of a soldier quite well. I doubt that is what you want to hear, though. Indeed. That's surely not what I'm looking for. Well, monsieur, if you are looking for Facebook, Lord Mortimer must surely have one, given the number of books he has. You ought to check in the library of the tower. You never know. It's a no. Let's ask him a few other questions. Would you have any more information about the conference Lord Mortimer spoke of? Nothing at all. Mortimer is very committed to secrecy when it comes to his conferences. But given the presence of Monsieur Peru and ourselves, I think it must concern France to some extent. Otherwise, I doubt he would have invited three Frenchmen to his table, huh? That is interesting, too. A lot more French individuals. In this what conference, do you think of Duke are Well, of any I do other not express any opinion of him. Why is that? His reputation is enough for me. Meaning, this gentleman enjoys people talking about him for too many reasons. He's undeserved titles, more than ten in just four years. And each one more prestigious than the one before. You don't think he deserves them? If I had seen him on the battlefield, there might be some doubt. But that is not the case. The Queen would rather not risk losing him, so she consoles him with awards and titles. So you don't have a very positive opinion? His coveting French Catalonia does not encourage me to have one. I understand your point of view. Well, I'll be leaving you now. Shall we meet up again later? But wait, monsieur. Any news of your mother? Unfortunately not, no. I hope to speak with her about my deal before I leave. Let me know if you find her. A plus tard, monsieur. A plus tard. Well, 
will definitely have to figure out um, what's going to happen pretty soon. Alright, so let us leave and then we shall also try and find more clues. What do you want, Louis? So I have a question that might seem a bit strange, but Go on. If I said go beyond the nightmare, would that mean anything to you? Hmm. No, means nothing to me. Do you mean literally or figuratively speaking? In the figurative sense, probably. I'm trying to understand what it refers to. Well, if I come up with anything, I'll let you know. <laughs> what do you think of our last guest? Well, I never thought I would get the chance to meet that Hispanic Casanova in the flesh. His reputation is well known. The gentleman collects lovers, including, would you believe it, the Queen of Spain. I guess we don't have enough politics uh, uh, information to have all my opinion. best that question. Emily, what can you tell me about the coming conference? Sir Gregory and Lord Mortimer organize this kind of high society meeting every so often in order to consider the world situation. But to what purpose? Well, by bringing together the most influential people from the dominant nations of the modern world, they allow the mighty to discuss matters with calm clarity. There are precedents of armistices being signed at the end of these talks, you know. Talking while holding a glass of brandy makes things easier. You'll see. That it does. That it You're does. You're leaving me? Unfortunately, I have things to do. Thank you again, madam. Alright, so... What else are we begging for? Sir Jacques Perrou? Going to see if there's any other people moving about that would be interested in trying to figure out. These clues are better man by those notes. President George Washington. Maybe we should just look for people rather than it also be a great way for us to try or the uh, mansion. Also to find other things. It's nice. But Napoleon did say something about a library, so we should try and start there. Encyclopedia. Actress, the Miller brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Actress, the Miller brothers. 
mother expressly forbade me from reading it. Hmm. Interesting. So nothing those large groups of books. Amber crystals. With some amber crystals. I think I like C. Ah, Louis. Just a man. Good lord. How did the king come to be executed? I would think that the order would have intervened. I'm sorry for King Louis, but he did everything to put himself there. Louis! How can you say such a thing? Even if France rejects the church, you don't go and behead a person of high status. They always serve our cause better alive than dead. Politically, it's absurd. I invite you to speak about it with my mother as soon as she reappears. Uh, is there any news of her? I... Well, I hope it won't be long before I find her, Your Eminence. Louis, I'm doubting on you. If you don't find Sarah before my departure, yeah. I must ask you to give me back the letter I gave you. Well, don't worry about that, Your Eminence. No, you wanted to speak to me. Yes, yes I did. I say the nightmare to you, does it make you think of anything? Hmm. Your question is strange, my son. Say, could you at least tell me a little more about the context? Think of a place and tell me the first thing that comes into your mind when I say the nightmare. Mm -hmm. Let me think. Oh, what is it? Say, the Lord of Mortimer's favorite painting on the wall behind his desk. You know, that painting caused quite a stare when it was exhibited. It is titled The Nightmare, and it shows a woman lying down with a creature sitting on her, and in the background, a horse. <laughs> I don't know if it will be of any help, but I can't think of anything else. You never know. Thank you for that, though, Your Eminence. I gotta go and see it just in case, though. I was wondering... What to think of that Manuel Godoy? He is reputed to be a very ambitious character. <laughs> but his fate is unwavering. He is a staunch defender of the church. You can believe me. I'm sure a man like you is in the circle of trust. Would you know what the conference that Lord Mortimer mentioned is going to be about? Not really, my son. Well, be it Lord Mortimer or Sir Gregory, uh, we are never informed about the theme of the conference before it begins. As to his faith, I have no doubt. However, his ambition seems to surpass his morality, and I hope that it will not solve the crown. You can say that again. The blue eyes of the latest Infanta, Maria Isabel, have left everyone wondering. Rumors always accompany men of power, Your Eminence. Naturally. But the number of awards and titles granted by the Queen during these past four years leaves little doubt. So, Godoy really is this out-and-out -out rascal who uses his charm on the Queen. Thank you for everything, Your Eminence. I shan't take up any more of your time. You are welcome, my son. I will be seeing. Interesting. Nonetheless, we have more an idea of what to proceed to next. So let us see what that office. Let us see the painting. Duke Manuel Godoy. Lord Mort. This study should somewhere. I think it was in the upstairs. Office room. 
Christmas. Go ahead. Soon, on my way around this. That, my friends, is the way. Painted by Fusili in 1781. Ah, this must be what my mother was talking about. Now, just need to find out what she meant by go beyond. Hey, looks like it's mounted on rails on each side. It should lift up, I think. There must be a mechanism somewhere. Alright, so we have to find a mechanism. Oh, that's so. So the mechanism controls. You say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. Now, now what do we got here? Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer is fond of complicating things sometimes. Well, I hope I never have to try and unlock it. I found it. I would like to investigate this area a little further. Writing with regards to the dates of the painting I sent. For the uh, temporary uh, exposition, please note that there are parts of my private collection that are dated according to the Freemasons calendar AL. This is centered around the Freemasons and other secret societies. I agree that you guys get that good. A good pause, like you read it for yourself. Look. Uh, Dark chocolate beans. Very bitter. They're greatly prized in high society. Oh my god, I was trying to figure out what this sound was. And he has a bird. A minor bird. That bird is pretty. The bird? We'll get the bird chocolate. That'd be weird. Well, Waldo, is your master good? Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? Pretty boy. Pretty boy, Waldo. Aww. Waldo's my new official favorite character. He the best. Maybe the red berries Mr. Waldo would like? Might come in handy. I mean... Oh, whistling at you. Bird. They're whistling at you, feet up there, get in the berries. Well, Waldo, is your master good? I don't really know what I was expecting. Sarah de Riche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah? What about Sarah? Good God, what's been happening here? That was interesting. That was really cool to figure out. Obviously oh, smart about the little birdie and everything. Oh boy, oh boy, the plot thickens. I don't think there's anything else we can feed the bird, but... It was interesting, so like something happened here. I don't think this book can help me.
Alright, I think I found the mechanism. Just wanted to check around and see other things. Maybe a booster. Huh. No mechanism here. Okay, no mechanism behind this painting. Well, I'll have to keep looking. I've already picked up that book already. I don't think this book is helping. I had a feeling that those berries might also help too. Is there any other source of food that I could probably get more attention? Hmm, which four letter word can open this chest? It has to be a four-letter word. Okay, the name of this bird. What was the name of this bird? Alder? A minor bird. Sarah Dereche? Waldo, you know Sarah? What? Repeat that, Waldo. Sarah? That's five-letter word. Waldo. <laughs> Where's Waldo? <laughs> oh, poor Waldo. You God, what's been happening here? Lord Mortimer, you so clever. Aha! You found the secret. Oh, hello. It's a number sequence. Oh, I found it. Oh, what on earth is this? A ring lockdown? Great. That's all I needed. Uh oh. I will have to figure out what the fuck. Maybe the bird knows? So we've got to find four numbers. This painting isn't finished. And it looks like Mortimer probably did it. Not bad, but we can't exactly say it's been done. I don't know, what have we got here? Well, it looks like a model. A model of a lock. As if Mortimer was finding the numbers would be things sometimes. Maybe he has them around this room. There's a marker on number one on the second roller. Alright, so obviously one must be around some. Well, I 
I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Looks like there's a marker on number one on the second roller. Yeah, it looks like there's a mark on the roller. Let's see what the mark is. Got it wrong. It doesn't matter. I know that was gross. Anyways, um, uh, could it be this obvious? There's a marker on number one on the second roller. Well, <laughs> I got it wrong. It doesn't matter. Alright, so there's a one. It involves something with a one. something really significant so let we'll me double check here well well history of the mortimer lineage looks like his ancestors have always sought to improve society and have had an open attitude towards the arts sure that they do seems to be the list of grants and sponsorships given by the Mortimer family. From 1685 to 1720, the Mortimer family allocated an annual pension to Denis Papin for his brilliant works in pneumatics and hydraulics. That reminds me of spectacular experiments such as his first submarine, which didn't end all that well if I remember correctly. Yeah, we could totally like learn more. I'm pretty sure we could figure out code sequence here. Only just because I really want to try and move this along. I don't want to be stuck on puzzle. We're going to look it up. <laughs> That wasn't it either. All right, so we're going to go ahead and figure this out. All right. Good. From there and figure out the endings of this.
that it? One one nine. Isn't the right date when you subtract 4,000? I must have missed a subtlety. Hold on. We're going to figure it out. Ah, uh, one, one, nine. Fun. There we go. So, computer reference, it is 1191. And yes, I looked it up, and no, it's not terrible. I just want to prolong this as long as humanly possible. So, now, we're going to get some. Next time, we'll figure it out. The rest of the puzzles, we're going to figure them out on our That is the week. What is in here? All sorts of wonders. Let's see what you've been hiding, Lord. So we will. But I think this is a great way to have a cliffhanger ending. Oh, I know. It's so terrible. Oh. <laughs> but this video has been going on for long enough. And honestly, it is currently 144, and I have work tomorrow, so yay. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys like and subscribe. Uh, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video series, guys. And I hope you really have been enjoying this video series. There's not a lot of talk in this video series, mainly because it's more about just figuring stuff out and trying to like figure out different things to do with the video. But uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll have more videos to come up here soon. I just really wanted to do this again because I know I haven't done anything in a hot minute. That's just because I, I've just been busy dealing with a lot lately. And don't worry, I'm, I'm good. I just want to get through some stuff and then totally, definitely be getting back into the main ring. But again, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video series, guys. Hit the little bell icon to be notified of future events and gatherings on that is going to be happening to Center. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Darko Sinner, and I'll see you motherfuckers later.